Hello guys, welcome to actually I think my first non-gameplay video. Um, so a lot of people were asking how I do my thumbnails. Well, I say a lot. Uh, I saw like two people ask, so I'm gonna make a video on it. Um, I'm just gonna be showing you like the process, how I get my screenshots, you know, what do I do to make my thumbnails, whatever. Because I've got a couple of cool things that I would like to share, and also some people struggle with thumbnail creation, so I'm gonna go through basically my whole process of how I do it. The initial thing that I'm gonna do here is uh, one, I wanna match the texture pack with whatever video I was using. First off, I'm gonna go get some screenshots in Minecraft. Uh, specifically, I'm gonna get three, three different screenshots. One of the sky, uh, two of any background base that I want, and three uh, just in my character. Okay, so first I'll do the, the map that I'm gonna use in the background and the sky screenshot since they're two of the easiest to grab. Okay, so since I played a lot of Castaway in my video, I'm actually going to be using this map for it. Um, I mainly played on blue and green team, so, but I think that blue would match the sky a little too much, so I'm going to use the green team base. Basically, what you want to do here is, for me, I use Onyx and I have environment changer to where it'll change the sky to red by having these two on and then using red here. I'm also going to make sure that it does not change the time because I want it to be day. So now I'm just going to go into F1, which makes my HUD disappear. And I'm gonna get a screenshot right here using game bar. If you don't have game bar, you can just do Windows Shift S and it'll allow you to take a snippet of your screen. Whoa, I don't know why my game's doing that, but yeah. So now that I have the screenshot of that, I'm going to turn off environment changer and I double clicked. There we go. I'm going to go get a screenshot of the sky. Now where I want the sky screenshot to look like, I'll probably take it up like here. Just because it's a blander sky. This is where most of the detail is. Once again, I'm just going to use game bar to take a screenshot. You can also just take a snippet though if you want. So now that I have those two screenshots, I'm going to exit nether games entirely because I'm done gathering my screenshots. So I have a world set up here, and in this world, it has a resource pack called the Ultimate Thumbmaker, it's version one. Uh, I'll have a link to download this in the description. Basically, you just wanna put that on a creative flat world or really wherever, it doesn't even have to be a flat world, but a flat world just tends to be easier, you know? So I'm gonna just do that. I use the three options here, which is the chainmail boots, chest plate, and helmet with the arrow, and then whatever sword I wanna hold. Today's video, I'm gonna hold an iron sword just cause it's in Bed Wars. Also, make sure that you're using your own skin. Like, make sure you have your main skin on that you want to take a screenshot with, because I've done that before. Okay, so now I'm here. The boots, this is the running animation that you want to have on your, you know, your person. So I'm going to use three, so I'm going to jump. And now you can see my character is stuck in the running animation, which is good. Now, the punching animation. Since I have a sword in my hand, I'm not just using my character. I don't want the sword to be too far up into my face, so I'm not going to use three or four. So I'm going to use one that way it's lower down towards my chest, which is right here, as you can see. And then the armor display, I'm going to sprint forward to get rid of all the chain armor because I just want my character, you know, I, I just want my character. That's all I want. So now that I have this, um, I'm just going to hold my sword. I'm going to right actually i'm gonna punch with the slime ball to create the green screen and then walk forward a bit that way my shadow is not casting onto the green screen and then i'm going to look around where should i look i'll look like right here and now i'll put the arrow in my offhand punch to view model press f1 and now i can freely move around outside of my model and this will allow me to get a good screenshot now my screenshot I'm gonna do is gonna be like right, I'll take it from right here. And then once again, I'm just going to take a game bar screenshot just because it's the most convenient. So now that I have all my screenshots, I'm gonna take off all this gear that I can reset it for next time I wanna use it. And I'm just gonna leave the world. That's as simple as I can put it. So for me personally, I use Photoshop. It's a, uh, an older version of Photoshop that is very legitimate. I'm going to open my thumbnails tab and I have this thumbnail base which is just really the perfect size for a YouTube thumbnail. It fits it perfectly and is a good size. 
which I just do this for all of mine because it's just convenient. So now I'm going to come in here and place. I'm going to go to my captures thingy, which is my game bar folder. I'm going to wait for it to load my screenshots. So now that it's loaded my screenshots, I'm going to be using these three in specific, right? Right here, these three. So first I'll start out with the island just because it's probably going to be the simplest. Make sure it's fitted to the screen. All right, so I'm just going to color range the red straight out of here. It's just as simple as that. I'm literally just going to, that's why I use the red skies because it's practically like a green screen. Now you can see there is like red pixels everywhere. So before I actually deselect this, I go to select and then modify with a border of one pixel. Hold on. I forgot to go all the way back. All right, border one pixel. And then I use the tool one last time. And then I get rid of the NVIDIA things in the bottom corner. Now there is some, there are some pixels, not, I didn't mean to press that, uh, pixels around the outside. So I'm just gonna simply go around like this with the eraser and now it'll be fit to the screenshot. So now I have this. Um, I can really use this wherever I want and I'll be using it later. It doesn't matter what quality is, uh, it, what quality it is, because I'm, I'm gonna be blurring it anyways, so it doesn't even matter. So next, I'll be doing the character, which is you know my skin. Once again, I am just going to green screen it out, which is you know the entire point of using that green screen tool in the pack. And then I'm going to go into select, modify border by one pixel, and then just erase on top of that again. Then I'm going to erase these buttons in the bottom corner, downsize my character a bit, and then go around the outside with an eraser again. And now it's fit to my character. So now that I have just my character alone, I'm probably going to have them around like here in the picture. Yeah, that looks about good. So. I'm also gonna import my sky, which is just this. I'm just gonna upsize it a bit to get rid of those buttons in the, the bottom corner. Gonna select it on the right here. Gonna go to filter. Oh my goodness, blur. I'm going to go to a radial blur, set this to three. And now it just has a little, you know, the little side effect, whatever. Gonna pull both of these on top. I'm going to filter this with a Gaussian is close enough and I'm just gonna upsize this a little bit and I can like tilt it do whatever I want to it you know do my thing it'd actually be better if I tilted it like this I think that's a little too much tilt though there we go so now that's officially in the background I'm gonna upsize my character a little bit more just to get them more in frame there we go so now I have this. This is just my base. I'm gonna use my text, uh, whatever, yeah, the text tool, and I have my font on Minecraft, and I'm just gonna simply write 80,000 wins. So now I have these two texts. Um, hi, didn't mean to do that. Cancel. No, don't apply. There we go. So, um,. I'm not sure what color I want to use for this. I guess I'm probably going to just use red because it stands out really well. So I'm going to use red here and then I'm going to go to this setting and then add like a lighter red. So now I have that. I'm going to add a drop shadow. I'm going to change the size down and then put the distance to like five, no, like six, seven. No, yeah. And then I'm going to turn the size up just a little bit to like 3. I would normally set this to like 90 and then do that, but I like to have a drop shadow on my character as well, so it doesn't matter about the angle right now. So now that I have the wins text, I'm going to upsize this just a bit. That's what it will look like in the final product, which isn't bad. I think I'm going to actually move the drop shadow out a little bit more by upping the distance. But on my character as well, I'm going to add a drop shadow and then angle it this way, which angles this as well, so. There we go. So 
So this is how I like my character's drop shadow to look like. Um, for the winds effect, this is fine. I honestly don't mind how this winds text came out. So I'm going to copy the layer and paste the layer onto the ADK and then just upsize it a bit. And then I'll place it around there and I'm actually going to move my winds up and left a little bit. So now those are pretty centered, I would say. <clears throat> I'm going to move my character out and left just a tad little bit like this and then upsize them just to bring them more in frame. There we go. So now I have this. Um, there's two more things that I add to my thumbnails before I'm done with them. And that is this. Hold on. Sorry I'm blurring all this, but I don't want to leak like every file on my computer. That is the wrong folder. So, back in my thumbnails folder now, I have this overlay. Now, this overlay and the thumbnail preset base thingy will both be in the description for you to download. Basically, what you do is you just create another layer on top and you place this overlay over top of everything. Now, you take this preset overlay, you go into blending options, and you set it to overlay. And that's how I get that border on my videos, because I think that really just makes it pop. Because this versus this, it just looks a lot cleaner. It makes it glow a bit more, and it just adds that rim. That classic, you know, 2017 rim glow. Anyways, the last thing that I'm going to add to my thumbnail is a bingus, because it's just my thing. I hide binguses in almost all my thumbnails, a majority of them actually, and today you'll actually be able to see where I hide it. So if you found this bingus before you watch this video, let me know in the comments because I want to see how many people actually can find them. Whoa, I didn't mean to stretch them. Because they are in most of my thumbnails, so I'm interested. How many of you guys knew about the Binguses in the thumbnails that I didn't specifically tell you that they were there. Because there are a couple of people that I've told, oh, there's binguses in my thumbnails, by the way. I'm going to drag this below my character, that way it's in the background. And I'm going to set the opacity down by a little bit, that way it just blends into the background more. There you go. As you can see, I hide binguses in my thumbnails. Because <laughs> they're like this big when you see them. You can't actually see the bingus, and it just looks like a little detail. But yeah, there's that's a little fun... Uh, Fun fact about my thumbnails that you probably didn't know. So then you're going to save as, and then whenever I save as, I save it as a JPEG just because it, I don't know, it's the only one that works for me. And I'm going to call this ADK global.jpg. Save as the best quality. And there you go. Now, if I go to my thumbnails folder, you can see right here, I have it exported in pretty much perfect quality. So that's how I make my thumbnails. Um, if you guys have some questions, please let me know in the description. That ding was actually my video just finished rendering, so that's pretty convenient. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the description. Huh? If you guys have any questions, ask me in the comments. I don't really mind at all. Um, any suggestions or questions, just ask me in the comments. And if you guys use this technique or similar things to make your thumbnails i would love to see them so if you want to message me on my discord which is ng.ben i'll be glad to see your thumbnails i want to i would really enjoy seeing what kind of creations you guys do anyways thank you guys for watching hope this guy ah, blah, 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 blah. anyways thanks for watching guys uh if this helped you then you know make sure to drop a follow follow oh, i don't know what i'm saying just subscribe to me please I'm trying to get to 5k before the end of the year while barely uploading because that's a YouTuber mindset at its finest. I'm just playing a game that I like to play and uploading content on it. So let me know how your thumbnails go and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.